I believe that the psychological aspect of cancer is given lip service. It's considered the soft science in terms of medical treatment. And we know that that's erroneous. Um, in fact, that all these aspects of the challenges of cancer, all the distress that is cumulative for cancer patients affects their biochemical status as well as their molecular status that are critical, relevant to either the progression of cancer or to the inhibition of cancer. Some of the things we teach people are even preparation for surgery, which I've mentioned can diminish so many side effects from surgery, can diminish blood loss, and can um, reduce pain that accompanies surgery. But getting back to this, we teach progressive muscle relaxation, for instance. It's a simple technique. In fact, it sounds too simplistic to be important. But my gosh, it really um, fortifies different immune factors like natural killer cell activity and important lymphocyte levels. It can counteract side effects like nausea that accompany intensive treatments. Um, and we know that um, also relaxed abdominal breathing um, can really make a difference for people because otherwise we perpetuate that outpouring of adrenaline which can actually make cancer cells more resistant to chemotherapy, can actually increase metastases or spread of the cancer to distant organs, and actually is um, changes, actually is genetic factors that do predispose the cancer cells to spread. So that's another issue. We also teach what I call comfort-based imagery, which is a tweaking of, you know, what people used to call safe space. But we individualize that because, wow, it's almost as if a, uh, an athlete is preparing for a difficult event. We know that athletes use imagery, detailed imagery, that works for them to actually have a better for performance. And when we use detailed imagery that matches what a person feels is associated with comfort and healing and peacefulness and ease, those parts of the brain actually light up as if we're experiencing it, we're actually there. So those are sort of fundamental. It's sort of like the whole grains and fresh vegetables aspect of the psychological program, just to mention that. Do not listen. Do not read. Um, something that tells you they know exactly how long you're going to live. Because we do not have data on people who make a change to their whole biochemical and molecular environment that internal environment that can either support or inhibit cancer. We don't have that data. And yet doctors often tell people there are these fatalistic prognoses that are based on population curve, you know, that bell curve statistic. Um, and often the data or the people that form that bell curve are those who have kind of given up because they've had a bad fatalistic prognosis. Um, and they passively may even get medications. But what the doctor's not saying is there's a right curve on that bell curve statistic, and those are people that go out living, out, out, out. But better yet, there are outliers. They don't fit neatly under that descriptive statistic, and those are people that we witnessed can live way beyond, decades beyond sometimes, what is expected. But as I said, we don't have data and anybody who tells somebody they know is really not being medically responsible or scientifically accurate. So to find a full integrative program that is tailored to match what somebody needs at different points along their recovery path, because what somebody needs even in terms of diet, before surgery, during chemotherapy, or after active treatment, when they want to, and we tell patients we can help them optimize their health, um, varies, and so we have to keep tailoring and monitoring what somebody needs. So it is possible just to know that. It is possible, and they've got to find a way to discard that bell curve statistic that may just sit somewhere in the back of their mind. Well, the Block Center is located now in Skokie, Illinois. Um, we do have a website. Um, you can go on and look for the Block Center the, for Integrative Cancer Treatment. Um, we have people actually who do some phone consultations. They can set those up, but also people travel from distant locations to get 
a two-day experience with us and they meet with every single one of our individual providers to get a program that matches what they need. We do the biochemical terrain testing that um, we speak about all the time. And so again, they can do that. Some people come to us for treatment, but there are many different scenarios of how people get hold of us, come to us, and then get a plan for health.